Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloongo.com and today we're going to review Zapier, the application that allows you to connect different apps together and automate your workflows. Let's start. When you open Zapier.com, you land on this website. Here you can log in as well as check how Zapier works and all the apps that are already integrated with Zapier. There are more than 2,000 apps here. Let's go to the pricing table. They have different plans. As you can see, they have a free version that you can use if you want to start and try Zapier. And then if it works for you, you can move to the paid versions. All right, let's log in. When you log into your account, you start on the dashboard. I don't use it that much, but you can see that you have some recommended uh, zaps for you based on the applications that you already have. And also you can start with a new zap right here. I normally use this button to make a zap button when I want to create a new zap. In this tab, you can find all your zaps. On this column, you have your folders that you can create with this button. And then here you can find the content of the folder. In this case, we're in the home folder and we can see all the apps that we have inside. There are some of them that are drafts. That means that I didn't save them yet or I'm not using them yet. And then some of them are already in use. These three up here. If you click on any SAP, you can open it and edit it. We're not going to review that on this video. With this button, you can turn it on and off. Here you have more information about this app. And finally, on this arrow, you can see this menu that allows you to delete this app, make a copy, as well as move it to a different folder. If you click on any other folder, you're gonna see the content of that folder. Here we have share folders. This is a feature that I don't have on in my account, but basically you can create zaps and share them with your team so they don't have to create those zaps again. Finally, we have the trash. If you go to my apps, you can see a list of the apps that you have in your Zapier account. These apps are already connected. And on this column, you can see the amount of connections that each app has with Zapier. For example, my Gmail app has 10 connections. This means that I have 10 Gmail accounts connected to Zapier through this app. Also, you can see the amount of Zaps that use that particular connection. On this tab, you can see the task history. When a Zap runs, it uses a task. So you can see this Zap is the one that used the most tasks. You can also see issues that that zap ran into. Also, you can use the filters up here to change your view. Or you can search, for example, for a particular zap. You can also use the search bar if you want to type your information in. The task log shows you the different tasks that have been performed by Zapier in a chronological order. On the left column here, you can see the amount of tasks performed this month and the amount of tasks available. As you can see, my monthly usage resets in one day. On the top right corner, you can find your settings. Here, you can see your profile as well as email notifications and some advanced settings. Also, you can do data management and change your billing usage in your team members. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.